Boulevard Mall is a shopping center located at the town of Amherst in New York, which opened in 1962. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around at the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest mall video, defunct store, or my throwback Thursday videos. Leave a suggestion or a comment for a future video. Thanks. Boulevard Mall opened on November 6, 1962. It was Buffalo's first fully enclosed shopping center. The $12 million complex originally occupied 44 and a half acres of a 55 and a half acre parcel, was located 11 miles northeast of downtown Buffalo in a section of Erie County known as Town of Amherst. The name Boulevard Mall was derived from the mall's location along Niagara Falls Boulevard known locally as the Boulevard. Ground was broken on September 13, 1961. Six stores debuted on November 6, 1962. A two-level, 222,000-square-foot Buffalo-based Sattler's 998, a two-level, 80,000-square-foot Jens Boulevard, a 13,500 square foot Acme Market Grocery, as well as a 28,800 square foot Kleinen's Mins, the Sample Casual Shops, and Morrison's. The November 1962 mall dedication was highlighted by the release of several colored balloons. The festivities included a TV broadcast greeting by Governor Nelson A. Rockefeller. A mall-wide de dedication was held on March 13, 1963. The high point of the celebration was a public transoceanic phone call to the office of the mayor of Buffalo's sister city in Kanazawa, Japan. Other stores that would open included Tom McCann Shoes, Baker's Qualicraft Shoes, Rees Jewelers, Bond Clothes, Gray Drug, Fanny Farmer Candies, and a 24,000 square foot SS Kresge. On the south end of the property was a freestanding Suburban Lanes Bowling Center. A pad northeast of the mall proper was developed by General Cinema Corporation, Boulevard Mall Cinema 1 and 2. This opened on February 16, 1966. The first Boulevard Mall expansion got underway in 1969 and was completed in February of 1971. In 1970, J.C. Penney opened up a three-level, 180,000-square-foot store across from Jen's, as well as a freestanding auto center, which was added to the northeast corner of the complex. In 1978, the mall was extended on the south end, adding approximately 30 more stores. With its completion, the shopping facility spanned around 786,000 leasable square feet, with 83 stores and services. Sattler's was thoroughly remodeled and was also downsized by 14,000 square feet. A grand reopening was held in November of 1980. As I mentioned before, the Boulevard Mall Sattler's was remodeled. The $2 million project was carried out between July and November of 1980. It added two restaurants and a professional services center. This included a beauty salon, dental clinic, legal services office, insurance agency, and a travel bureau. The Sattler's chain folded only two years later. Four suburban units went dark in February of 1982. The Boulevard Mall store remained in business until it closed for good in January of 1983. The store would be reopened 
as a Rochester-based Sibley's on October 10th, 1983. The store would close in 1990 and reopen on April 1st, 1990 as Kaufman's. A third expansion of Boulevard Mall had been announced in March of 1990. The out parcel bowling alley would be raised and a south wing extension constructed. This would house the 12 Bay Picnic Place. This food facility opened on March 31, 1994. Original vendors were a lot of chiladas, Arby's, Cousin's Doghouse, Everything's Yogurt and Salad Cafe, Costas Slovaki, Leon's Pizza, and the Great Steak and Potato Company. A freestanding 60,000 square foot Bob store was also built adjacent to the south end of the mall. The apparel retailer held its grand opening on April 10, 1994. To make the existing mall consistent with the expansion area, a $4 million facelift commenced in July of 1996. This project included the installation of new lighting, ceilings, skylights, landscaping, and porcelain tile flooring. Two mall entrances were rebuilt. A grand reopening commenced on May 30th, 1997. On September 15, 2000, Jen's closed. The chain had downsized from a full-line department store into a specialty retailer dealing in high-end gifts and home decor. A new location opened one block from the mall. The first level of the old Jen's reopened as the very first Kaufman's Men's Store on May 16, 2001. On August 19, 2000, a two-level 122,000 square foot Sears held its grand opening. A 30,000 square foot CompUSA and a 30,000 square foot Michaels was also built adjacent to the existing Boulevard Athletic Club. Boulevard Mall now encompassed approximately 1,148,000 leasable square feet with a tenant roster of 106 stores and services. The centerpiece of the Picnic Place edition was its Americana carousel. Merry-go-rounds such as this were a very 90s shopping mall feature. On February 1st, 2006, the mall's two Kaufman locations closed. The stores would reopen as Macy's. Three new sit-down restaurants open in the existing mall space, Bonefish Grill, Johnny Rockets, and Grand Buffet. Likewise, the mall's exterior was updated with new entrances, signage, and landscaping. Picnic Place closed in early 2015. The facility was demolished and replaced by a 55,000 square foot Dick's Sporting Goods, which opened for business on November 7th of that same year. Rated at the time as the number two mall in Greater Buffalo, the shopping center soon encountered several hurdles. Inline stores such as the Limited, Foot Locker, and Regis Hairstylists moved out. On March 28, 2017, Sears closed. On October 13, 2017, Macy's Men's and Home closed also. The Forest City Realty Trust put the shopping hub on the open market in July of 2016. There were no buyers. In December of that same year, it was turned over to the lender, New York City's LNR Partners. LNR flipped the property. Washington, D.C. based Douglas Development acquired the struggling shopping center in June of 2019. Well, the Boulevard Mall has now officially been sold. Good evening once again. I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Kelly Dudzik. Mary Alice has the night off. Sinatra and company put in the winning bid of more than $24 million for the mall property in Amherst. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing says that the town supervisor believes the selling price shows momentum for the town with a local developer. 
The bids came in fast this afternoon for the Boulevard Mall's 64 acres in Amherst. As the online bidding got toward the end at 1 p.m., there was a bidding war and it kept going and growing and going and growing. We were there with the Amherst Town Supervisor as the bidding was happening online. Sinatra and Company placed the highest bid, $24,050,000. Having it be Nick Sinatra who announced um, is exciting because he's a developer who expressed interest early on. He's been continuously meeting with the town, asking for updates and where the town was going. The town hopes to see mixed use development and hopefully a light rail. This would be a mixed use community right on light rail. This would give people in this area access to downtown, access to university campuses. The day of the mall is over. It's the beginning of, of, of scene change. The mall is currently dead, as some would put it, but it will eventually be raised and made into a town center. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer was six, give yourself a hand. You were paying attention. Thanks for watching. So what do you remember about this mall? Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, or a suggestion for a mall from your childhood. Or how about your favorite mall? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Eric C. Productions.